I've often thought about how the state of American mathematics excellence is. If mathematics were popularized more, the same way that basketball is popularized more, then more people would know that there is something to reach for. I think it would be extremely valuable to have more people know that there are these amazing challenges to reach for in mathematics to inspire more people to try to do them. So in high school, there is a series of math competitions. And what it's all supposed to lead up to is the IMO, the International Mathematics Competition. And every year, 50 or so people are invited to a math camp, uh, the Math Olympiad Summer Program. And it's both people who made the team and people who we think are promising and have a chance to make it in future years. So what is the Math Olympiad Summer Program? It's a way for mathematicians, young mathematicians, to interact with other incredible young mathematicians from both the United States and now around the world. During the Math Olympiad Summer Program, we have courses during the day where the courses will discuss the sort of mathematics that they might see in the International Math Olympiad, as well as the sort of mathematics that they might see later. In some sense, we're trying to encourage them to have an attitude that competitions are interesting, but they're not the end of the line. In fact, I would say that they're the beginning of a very, very long road towards mathematics research or other research. The, the program has been described as perhaps intense or, or rigorous. However, we always get a lot of requests from students of more math, because these, this is actually a playground for people who love mathematics to see interesting things that they may not have had access to see before at their home. I find maths beautiful. I don't really recall when and how I fell in love with the subject. In general, maths is not very popular. In India, it's very hard to find people who like mathematics. Here, I'm finding actually 70 people who share, who explore, and who love mathematics together. You could learn about math and be with dozens of people who we're just as passionate about math as you are and then just have this experience of learning from other people, people who are really good at math and just improving your mathematical abilities. So that you get to meet people from around the world and for US citizens, not just from within the US. I think that's nice because like maybe people from different countries might have different perspectives or like have different views and stuff that you might not know about and it's just nice to be able to be exposed to these different views. It turns out when you gather 50 kids who all have this shared interest in math and logic and nerdy stuff, everyone is just excited about the same kind of thing. And for three weeks, being in an environment with people who have the same mindset as you is almost freeing. The people here are really spectacular. There's an incredible community um, between the students and the instructors. People who all enjoy very similar things and then also end up um, becoming very good friends by the, by the end. And so, Outside of classes, there's uh, a lot of activities that happen uh, at, any time of, at any time of the day, really. The social interactions that happen are basically the foundations of future collaborations that happen as students move on and move into research or into industry. At the end of the day, the instructor and assistant group is a rather tight-knit community of people who are very passionate about the math Olympiads, the math competitions, but also about trying to help the next generation move forward and make the most of their talents. I keep coming back to MOP because it's fun. Really, math is about creatively solving problems and finding truths that were always there. And MOP is more about the, the creative side, all the interesting things that you'll find in math if you poke around. It's not about winning a competition in the end. It's about the skills that you gather and can use later on, the, the creative problem solving. Some people say that um, the real skill is being able to solve problems, and math is the easiest way to gain that skill. What stays with you is how to approach problems and how to think creatively and logically to solve problems. Here at MOP, not only do I learn much more advanced uh, techniques and uh, advanced approaches to elementary math, but you also uh, get some, some idea of what higher math is like. And, and I feel that that gives a sort of way of thinking and intuition which 
uh, which can help you a lot um, solving even Olympiad problems. All the math I learned here would like of course be useful in competitions math later but also like the way they teach us how to approach problems and like think about problems it's also really useful in real life so like if you're facing a problem like any situation really you can like think about all your possibilities like think through logically and just like stay calm if you stay calm you might be able to solve the problem so like those like small techniques can actually help you in real life and i think that's something that's really cool to like try different things and use strategies to think of ways that you can solve the problem, that's going to be the thing that will stay with me throughout my life. I feel that uh, it's, it's very useful also to make, make your mind faster, to just hone your skills. My primary goal was not actually winning the International Math Olympiad, because I would like to focus on the 20-year success trajectory of all of these students. So we have a responsibility to help these people not only succeed in the competitions, but to be as productive as possible in their future careers and hopefully leave some massive impact on the country and the world. So this has actually been my central theme. This is why the Math Olympiad Summer Program has seminars in the evenings, which have nothing to do with Olympian mathematics, but consist of the people who had gone through the program talking about what we actually do now and how to take that bridge from what the high school students have today to, to do what we do now. And I try to see how much passion the students have towards the various things that, we're, that, that they are working on and whether or not we've managed to communicate why those things are interesting. At the end of the day, I guess every single day at MOP, when I, when I, every, single, every single day when I'm working with students, I have this internal measure of what is the energy level in the program. And my goal is to keep the energy level high. So high that at the very end, we don't have a bunch of, we don't have 70 students who are all burned out, but rather 70 students who want more.